me again, Jason, with another video for EEM-171 codes and installations. Continuing again with our conduit project. And in this video, we're going to be looking at making the 90 degree bend. Okay, we use that where we have to make a turn to go from one box to another box. So, for example, say I have these two boxes here and I need to connect them with this piece of conduit so to get from this connection I have to come out turn and go into this other connection so that turn there is called a 90 degree bend or also referred to as the stub or stub up bend okay so your first step will be to on your stick of conduit measure off and cut it at 24 inches okay using your hacksaw and then using the reamer to remove the, the burrs okay so you need to see how to do that again go back to the first video where I show you how to use the hacksaw okay so once you have your piece cut take your tape measure and we got to make our mark on here to know where to bend this piece of conduit at. Okay. So if you look closely at the bender, okay, you see right here it says stubs, which is what we're bending, take up five inches to the arrow. Okay and this is the arrow up here that's what point we're going to use to make our bend so that means from whatever my measurement is I have to subtract five inches from it. okay so in this example we're doing a 12 inch stub up okay so that means I have to subtract five inches from 12 so that means seven inches okay so on my conduit transfer that mark all the way around the conduit. That way no matter where you turn it you've got your reference point. Okay so on my bender I'm going to place the conduit on the arrow okay so my arrow is right here so I'm going to put that mark and line it up on the arrow okay you see that line it up to the arrow Okay, now to do this bend, you can do it in the air like this, but it's actually easier if you take and move it to the floor. So I'm going to do that, show you how to do this bend. So you want to hold it without it moving. Use your foot here and bend it back 90 degrees. The key here is to not let the conduit slip out. 
and I almost did right there. better to go a little too far with that than not far enough okay it looks like pretty close what you can do a little trick here is to use the tiles on the floor I can zoom in to actually show you this. To check to see how square you are. Okay. That's pretty close. and that's your 90 degree beam so I'm going to take my tape measure here and verify and see that it is 12 inches high over but pretty close okay so that is your 90 degree band okay so that would get us from our first box here to the second one okay of course we would have to do our offsets to get that up into the box okay but that gives us the bend we need to go from one to the other all right so that's the nine degree bend and that's all for now